Hey ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is Papa Bale, and um, I wanted to get a spin time, how long this will spin for, uh, documented. Uh, not scientifically, just one test for now. So we'll get a start time on this. See, now that drops speed significantly right away. So, let me try to explain how this works. You get this yellow wire and it starts off this end of the coil, this coil right here. Then these three are connected. Then, see one end of these three coils is hooked into the bridge rectifier and then the other end is hooked into this capacitor over here. And the series circuit, the capacitor is hooked to the other capacitor. And this blue wire goes around to that coil on the end there. And then those three are hooked together. And then this end of that coil right there comes around, hooks to this end of the bridge rectifier. And then the DC is hooked back into the drive coil. And it works. This this freaking thing is moving. It has dropped into gear. When I spent I spun it, this is not coastable. Now what what would go farther? A coast or this? I don't know. But all I know is this is being propelled by itself right now. And of course the reed switch is hooked up right here and then the uh, well the brown wire is hooked up so the energy comes through the coil into the reed switch and then the blue wire is hooked into this capacitor just so you can get a little bit of light out of the switch when you first spin it And then I think there's a part where it kind of drops out of gear and it starts to spin down because it stops generating electricity and it starts to coast or anything significant, significant enough. So there's like a, a, a sweet spot there, you know, you start off, you're faster than and then it drops into gear and then it'll spin at that rate, which is a hundred to 125 volts for a given amount of time and then it'll start to coast. As it drops out of that gear. You know, It's a shame that I can't share this with people that I know. Yeah. Wow. 
And you know how I know that this is still working? Because I can hear the reed switch ticking as the magnets pass. So energy is being, even if there's no energy there, it's opening and closing the circuit. Now the only thing that might help this is to put a couple diodes on those coils over here on the circumference so we don't get any like backlash. But this seems you know good enough, man. I mean I don't need to really mess with it anymore. <coughs> And if it wasn't for that drop of speed initially, after the first spin, I would think this is just coasting and it's not working at all and it's broken. But, you know, I got a keen eye, so I noticed that. Because when it drops speed and it doesn't stop, it's good. That, that's a good thing. Because <clears throat> you could spin it faster than, you know, the output of the capacitor. And then it'll drop to that, that speed. And then it'll continue. Look at it go, man. I mean, geez. How much better can it get? Can't see how long it's been going for, but it's still going. And we're gonna put a load on it. Let me put two loads on it. We're gonna see if it'll continue to spin with load. Just a little humor there. Wow, look at it move with load on it. That's amazing. And you know what I think the real winner is here is the bifiler coil is extremely sensitive. But I know that it's coasting right now because no electricity is being generated at all here. <clears throat> maybe maybe some micro stuff is happening and it's being processed by the coil like even if micro volts are being processed here this coil will pick it up Awesome. So I'm going to stop the video now and we're going to see how long that lasted for. Thank you.
Have a good day. Peace out.